Hey Aquarius, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are having a great day so far and I hope you had a great week. Uh, we're gonna use the Wisdom Oracle cards today and we'll see what messages the Spirit and Universe has for you. And remember, they might be for you or for somebody in your life. I feel like this card did not wanna go back in there, guys. So we have here and now. So here and now speaks of the need to uh, not dwell on the past, but also not worry about the future. Uh, just sort of take time to be present in the moment. And by the book, interesting. So this by the book card uh, can speak of a need to do things by the book. It can also speak of a need to step outside the norm depending on what other cards are around it. I have a message in a bottle. There's some sort of opportunity coming your way, guys. And TikTok. So maybe it's something you've been waiting for. Uh, maybe you feel like you're on a time crunch. Or is this something that you've been looking for for a long time here? I have orphaned as well. So orphan speaks of a feeling of being alone, uh, sort of trying to find your place in the world too. Uh, so maybe you're somebody who's looking for love, looking to start a new relationship, looking for a path in life or some direction. I also have the high priestess. So she can speak to your intuition, to that spiritual side. I feel like she speaks of some sort of guidance. Guidance is definitely the word when I see with her. I don't know that I necessarily feel... Um, intuition i almost feel like a someone so i don't know if somebody passed in your life um who maybe was very intuitive or you're an intuitive person but i feel like that person is trying to help guide you and they might even have a hand in this message in a bottle card here i have justice so justice speaks of the scales being balanced um definitely being able to find a justice something was done that was wrong and now it's going to be made right I have the Empress card. Uh, the Empress card speaks of nurturing. She speaks of growth. As sometimes my read, she's a mother figure. This might also tie into this High Priestess card as well, guys. And the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, she represents wealth. She represents success. She's somebody who's very generous, uh, who's very giving, who's very kind. Uh, this might also be the person who ties into the High Priestess card. You know what? And this Justice card might even speak of an inheritance, depending on what's going on here if this is somebody who passed uh, this might be uh, what this opportunity is that's coming your way I have the Knight of Cups which represents an emotional victory I feel like it's speaking to whatever this opportunity is uh, that's going to be coming forward it's going to bring you sort of a that boost that you're looking for because I feel like you're really in the shit right now with this orphan card I have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands represents a journey over time. So something you've been working towards um, over time. Or maybe if you did lose somebody, maybe they were sick for a long time. And I have the Five of Swords, which represents selfish or short one victories. Victories at the cost of others. Mm, interesting. I feel like it's definitely speaking to... I feel like it's tied to this orphan card and I feel like if somebody has passed away it's speaking to not letting the grief of losing them stop you from living your life and finding success which is what they would want they would want you to move forward they would want you to be happy and move on I have the four of swords of four of swords represents taking time to look after yourself I feel like it's also tied into this this here and now card and being present so you're taking a time out to, to meditate, to do something that feeds your soul, to help process these emotions and move forward. The Magician card represents having all the tools that you need to be successful in life. Uh, so that need for self-confidence, believe in yourself. I get the very distinct impression that these were the things that you actually got from whoever this person was too. Um, they were somebody who always gave you a boost, always told you you could do it. Um, and I believe that this Magician card is speaking to a need to now find that within yourself. I have the King of Cups. So Cups is all about emotion here. Um, I feel like it's also speaking to both sides of emotion too. So it's speaking to the negative side too. To grief, to loss, to sadness, to hurt, uh, to anger, resentment, all those negative feelings. And then it's speaking to the flip side. So being able to find healing and move to the other side there where you find that happiness, that fulfillment, and that inner peace. The Six of Pentacles represents generosity. I feel like it's tied into this Justice card There's and this opportunity. Some sort of generosity is going to be coming your way. The Hanging Man represents the only thing that could possibly hold you back from success in life is you. So he's definitely speaking to this Magician card and that you are very capable of finding what you want in life, being successful, finding happiness. Um, the only thing that can hold you back is you. So believe in yourself and have that self-confidence. The Three of Wands represents positive movement forward while keeping your eye on your goal. So definitely encouragement to persevere and keep moving forward. 
the Ten of Wands represents feeling overwhelmed and overburdened. It's definitely tied to this orphan card and, and this loss and whatever this is that you're going through right now that's really weighing heavy on you. There's definitely a need to take time to care for yourself, to process whatever your feelings are that are going on now uh, and to allow yourself to start healing. And there is some positive opportunity that's coming, a generosity that's going to bring an abundance and a chance for an emotional victory, healing and moving forward. Alrighty guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Remember, if you want to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you have to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and I will throw your name into the draw. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care.